Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And my ear is still fucking killing me. This is actually holding in a cotton ball. I'm not playing Russian roulette. I know I probably look like a dipshit. I apologize, but we're going to be blasting the new Piss Grave record. Post-humanist humiliation. Because it fucking rules. Seriously, still the best death metal release in 2019 so far. And it's going to be that way for a little bit. Because I can't see anybody one-upping this. Even though there's a lot of gnarly stuff coming out right now. This still... I'm sorry, but this... I feel is just gnarlier than Suicide Euphoria. It's like... I constantly, constantly just play this, play this, play this. And it never gets old. I've never once since I got this been like, eh, I'm not in the mood to listen to the whole record. But this is just a little collection update from numerous sources. But we'll start things off with something from 20 Bucks Spin. And I pre-ordered this before I saw that there were cassettes available. And I'm on a tight budget right now. So I really didn't need this LP but I fucked up I didn't do my research first but Urine of Abomination by Triumvir Foul and I apologize if I butchered that band's name because I've actually never said it out loud before but Urine of Abomination has some amazing artwork I've yet to spin this yet as like I said my ears are really not doing too good right now. But yeah, four tracks of just total savagery, I'm guessing. As if this sounds anything like their past material, it's going to be fucking sick. Like, seriously. One of those bands, like, from some of the song titles alone, I'm like, oh, this is going to be awesome. The urine of abomination tearing the cervix of creation with rape of visceral torment. <laughs> like, just gnar gnarly fucking stuff. Piss on the face of God. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if it's like a concept record about piss. That's what it sounds like. But, yeah, fucking so sick. This thing has like a dong. <laughs> it's just awesome, but... I can't wait to spin this, like, when my ear gets a little bit better. Because I didn't even listen to, like, the whole sample track. I just was like, yo, like, I like their other shit. So, I'm sure this is going to be gnarly. And, uh, yeah. Triumvir Foul. Urine of Abomination. 20 bucks spin. Invictus Productions, and uh, I cannot pronounce the name of their record label, but they released it as well on cassette, and yeah, I did not know about it, but it happens. But next up, thank you and hails to Hayden and everybody in Coffin Rot for sending over the rehearsal demo March 3rd, 2019. Of course you got one of those. Fuck you. I forget who said that, but... Dude, I don't have a pot to piss in. This is out of the kindness of others. And the fact that... I've been a fan since day one. So, yeah. Fuck off. But... Super stoked on the Maxwell tape. Hell yeah. I haven't seen a Maxwell tape... In 26 years. But nah, this is so fucking sick. Four new tracks... Limited to 15 copies and not for sale. So if you see this on Discogs, go tell your local coffin rot so they can take care of the situation. Because people are fucking scumbags. And I'm sure some asshole would throw this up for like, you know, $70 or some shit. And somebody in like Indonesia is going to pay for it. If it says don't fucking sell it, don't sell it. So, yeah, this is awesome, awesome stuff. And uh, all you need to know is that my asthma of barbidity is, like, absolutely insane. And their full-length record, whenever that comes out, 
hopefully on Rotted Life. It's gonna fucking slay. I'm just throwing that out there already. Get your pre-order mon money hidden underneath your pillow because you're gonna probably fucking need it as this is going to sell out ASAP when they make a full length. I, I can just tell by how awesome these four tracks are and their catalog so far. From their demo to just everything. It's just like, oh my god. Like, there's, I love their split with Mulder. And especially their cancer cover. It's amazing. But next up, first off, stuff like this is the reason I make this channel. And John from Tampa, I don't know if John wants me to throw his last name out there, but all you really have to do is look in the comments. So, John Randall, you're the fucking man, dude. Seriously, thank you so much. Stuff like this is the reason I honestly do make this stuff. And I do appreciate the words about, you know, how you firmly believe, uh, you know, I should be... Uh, I don't owe metal anything, and metal doesn't owe me, but, like, just the fact that you guys are watching this is all that really matters. So, I do appreciate the kind words, though, and I appreciate stuff like this, because I am a huge... Vile Apparition fan, and when I saw that they had a full length, I was super, super stoked. When I saw it was on Blood Harvest, I was like, no, I'm probably not going to be able to get a copy. But here it is, in my hands. Fuck yes. And this is Depravity Ordained. I've yet to listen to any of this stuff yet. Um, looking for the original demo. It should be... Well, I should have got it out to begin with. My own fault. I fucked up. Because I was going to say, this is another one of those bands. They were originally on Transylvanian tapes, and I have to thank James for getting me into them. Speaking of James, a Vols is fucking awesome, and you need to check them out in case you have not already. But yeah, hailing from Australia, Vile Apparition are fucking amazing. Just totally face ripping death metal from down under and I really can't wait to listen to this bad boy fuck yeah Depravity Ordained by Vile Apparition on Blood Harvest Records and we have another Blood Harvest release and uh I have I apologize if I mispronounce this one and this is a uh, Noctama Bullist with um, Atmospheres of Desolation some kind of technical death metal but not in a lame way like more in a just brutal technical way it kind of sounds like Nate Johnson on vocals like if you're a fan of Suffering Hour you're gonna like this I, I checked it out when it first dropped on a uh, Blood Harvest, and I remember it sounded a lot like Suffering Hour, and uh, imagine um, Artificial Brain without Will on vocals doing gutturals, like kind of a more Nate Johnson vocal approach, and it's fucking sick. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of very, very picky when it comes to technical death metal, but like, this is one of those releases that I very much enjoy, and it's just... I'm stoked to be able to have it on cassette and play it. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting into this a little bit more than just, you know, listening to it digitally. So yeah. Nocta Mabulist. Sick shit. Atmospheres of Desolation. And I really wish my ears weren't so fucked up right now so I could go over that Eternal Rot. EP right now, but in the meantime, we'll look at some fantasy cars. We have Marley, a rare breed. She's never in the doghouse. <laughs> I love these 20 buck spin cards. They're fucking hilarious. But I have some sick ones, too. Like, some Conan the Barbarian, like, holograph cards. But, nice Tomb Mold sticker. Can't wait for Planetary Clairvoyance to drop. But, yeah, this is a collection update. 
We have the Coffin Rot rehearsal for 2019. We have Noctomobulist with Atmospheres of Desolation. And another Blood Harvest Records release. Vile Apparitions, Depravity Ordained. And on Invictus Productions via 20 Bucks Spin. Triumvir Foul. Oh, I butchered that. Fuck me. I'm sorry. Urine of Abomination. I would redo this video, but my ear hurts so fucking bad. And I can't wait to spin this, but... Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, but in the meantime, hopefully by tomorrow my ears back to normal and whatnot so I can blast some tunes for you maniacs and get the Eternal Rot EP demo done. I did not want this going over 10 minutes, but I apologize. Like I said, I can't really hear at all out of this side, and it's like fucking my balance up and stuff so I apologize but this video is sponsored by Dr. Pepper and for all you maniacs out there that send me stuff or anything along those lines thank you so fucking much especially right now when money is super tight it helps make this channel go around and you know fucking eternal support and whatnot. I love all of you ladies and gentlemen that watch this and we're blasting piss graves posthumanist humiliation because it fucking rules fuck yeah Philadelphia's finest and thank you John Randall thank you Coffin Rot and as always thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen you fucking rule and because I'm a goon, I almost forgot to fucking thank Dominic in the UK for always rolling and sending over sick shit. He happened to send over the Sortilija tape, Arcane Death Ritual. This is some awesome, awesome, icy black metal from Canada. Arcane Death Ritual on Vault of Dried Bones. Sick fucking shit. This is some icy, icy, cold, grim black metal. I love it. It's so fucking good. I like listening to that War Moon Lord and then throwing this on. Sick, sick stuff. And there was that massive Gods of uh, War Productions collection update this is just so fucking good and so up my alley as well so we have a lot of black metal to be going over in the near future but yeah thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and everything I will get this done once my hearing is a hundred percent but yeah six stuff and as always, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You fucking rule. <laughs> and one more thing. I sadly could not afford the colored version of Urine of Abomination. So, yeah, it's on black. In case you were curious. It doesn't count because it's on black. If you think that, you're a fucking idiot. Have a good day. Hails. Okay. <laughs>